actually kind of working on something here for everybody if you want to take a quick look. This is something I call my Quick Effects Toolkit number one. Um, I have a template out there and it's a set of tutorials called the Action Templates. And if you go to learncamtasia.com slash action, you can go ahead and take a look at that. But one of the things that kind of came about as a result of putting this together and the little training that goes with it is that I found that I spent some time creating some special effects. So for example, I'm just going to click on uh, this right here. Well, we'll just show this real quick. But I modified some normal effects in PowerPoint. And this one, for example, these stars kind of come out and they, they pop and then kind of snap back into place. So it's like they jumping off the page almost. Nice little effect. And if I go to animations and look at the animation pane, you know, you can see that I put a fair amount of effects already to some of these. And then, like I say, did modifications on the options and spent a lot of time figuring out, you know, what the proper time was here and to get this neat effect. And all that being said, the bottom line is I did that on a, on a couple of different things for a couple of different effects. And what I find is that I tend to go back and mimic that effect uh, quite a bit. So what I did was I created just a template with four simple slides, okay? And each one of these slides has a, an object that has that effect applied to it already. And a little description. Uh, here's one called Drop and Rock, and uh, there's a little jack-in-the-box springy effect, and then um, just a fun little one to do things like quotations. But what I wanted to do was put this together for folks, and here's how you might be able to use such a thing. I originally put this into this little toolkit because uh, when I want to use these, what I do is I just open up this slide deck. Okay. And almost every project I work on now, I have this set of slides open as I work on whatever project I'm looking to add some effects to. So the way we do this is I just have my toolkit open. I choose which one of these effects I want to use. Okay, I'm going to use the pop-out effect. You click on it, and then you go to... Uh, make sure you're on the Animations tab, and you click the Animation Painter. Then I just go back to whatever project I'm working on and click on the object I want to apply that effect to. I use this, like, constantly just because I have, like, my favorite little collection of effects that I use right here. And I really, uh, you know, stick with these quite a bit for most effects, most special effects. If I'm doing anything other than a, a build or a fade, then I use these because they're, they're kind of subtle, uh, but they do have some dramatic effect. So if I'm not using the canned effects, you know, here, uh, like I say, these are kind of tweaked and special, and I, I just like using them. So that's just a real quick and easy way to be able to always have those effects available without going in and uh, reconfiguring them, you know, manually each and every time in the animation pane. Uh, so what I thought I'd do is just kind of, I uploaded it, and if anyone's interested in it, I'll go ahead and uh, paste that into the chat box for everybody. Go ahead and play around with it if you have some feedback. I think you guys are pretty savvy about this. Uh, you could probably just use this right out of the box. And since you've listened to how to use it and seen how simple it is, I don't think you'll have any problem with it. But uh, if you have any feedback on it or have any problems or suggestions, go ahead and let me know on those. Another thing you might do is, you know, click on it. Click on one of the effects. Go to the animations. Open up your animation pane. And you know, maybe just kind of look at the options here. A lot of folks don't even know that some of these exist. Uh, for example, 
did you know you could put a little bounce at the end of whatever effect you have, uh, whatever effect you choose here, whether it's a float in or, you know, any of the other effects. Well, a lot of people didn't, don't realize that, that this even exists. So it's kind of something fun you could do. Uh, here's another thing that might be fun. This one is called the drop and rock effect. And what happens is this flies down and it just kind of hits. And this bounce here kind of gives it the effect that, you know, it's hit with a great amount of impact and, blah, 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 you know, it, it just kind of drops and rocks. Well, it might be fun to find a sound effect, you know, kind of like a or a thud noise and, you know, just uh, apply that. Uh, and you would do that by just choosing other sound. For effects, some people don't know that there are pre-selected sounds here, or pre-available sounds that you can also use. So sometimes uh, that might be kind of interesting. But, you know, don't be afraid to play around with stuff. Quite honestly, that's how I came up with some of these effects that I use. I just kind of went in here and I go, oh, what the heck is that all about? Bounce? Well, that's kind of interesting. Okay. And we'll see you all later. Thanks, everybody.